Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Erida Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of Erida Science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow and build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on status crash regarding primary key violation. This question has been asked in Apple and Amazon interviews, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, or ML engineer roles. The question reads, write a query to return all customers, that is customer ID, who are violating primary key constraints in the customer dimension, that is, those customers who are present more than once in the customer dimension. For example, if customer ID C123 is present thrice, then the query should return C123 as output. So basically, the concept of primary key is that it should be non-null unique values. So obviously, any customer ID which is present more than once is violating the primary key rule. So let we are given a data frame called dim customer and expected output is a pandas data frame which has two columns customer id and the number of occurrences obviously these are the ones who are violating it so it should always be greater than one let's inquire about this data frame called dim customer so it has five different columns basically customer id customer name city date of birth and pin code so to do this, what we need to do is we can group by the customer ID and then count how many such customer ID exist for each of the customer ID. So what I'm saying is let's try to do this. Let's group by the customer ID and then use the dot aggregate method that we have learned about in our final output. We need how many times they have occurred as n occurrences so we provide the name of the column in n occurrences and then we provide a tuple what we need to do is take the customer id column and perform a count right now once we perform a count this customer id will be indexed by default so we need that as a column so what we can do is we can write reset index so now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now we have customer id and number of occurrences now from this what we need to basically keep is whenever your number of occurrences is greater than one that means those customer id are present more than once that which means primary key is violated because primary key should be non-null unique values so what we can do is we can use the dot query method here we, it says right we need to write a query as we have learned previously in this series that you can you know simply write the dot query just like in sql when you write right from a particular table the things that you write after the where clause basically to filter right so that is what you write in the dot query so you write dot query so here you have a certain data frame now you need to keep only those rows where n occurrences is greater than one so dot query and then in inverted commas you write n occurrences right so you need to filter based on the column and occurrences that you just created so n occurrences should be greater than one now let me go ahead and run this so now if you look at it we are left with only those rows where number of occurrences were greater than one so i think this looks good and it is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how to do it so not a difficult question what we did was firstly we grouped by the customer id and then use the customer id column to count okay this customer id is present how many times once we had that then we reset the index so that we have customer id and unoccurrences as columns and then out of that we are only going to keep those rows where number of occurrences is greater than one because that by definition violates the primary key rule so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.